So the first thing we're going to do is put the saxophone together. And I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. First, you want to put on the neck strap, which I already have on. And this holds the saxophone in place and supports the weight of it around your neck. So you don't have to do that with your hands. First, I'm going to take out the body of the saxophone, which you'll see here. And this end plug, I'll remove that. I'll loosen this screw a little bit, put that in the case. And I'll leave it loose for the next step, which is putting on the neck of the saxophone. So I'm gently kind of sliding into place like this. And then I tighten the screw just until it's firm, not too tight. I'll attach it to the next strap. And now I'm preparing to put the mouthpiece on the neck. Before I do that, I'm going to take some cork grease and put it on the cork right here. Just a little bit, not too much. And what the, what the cork grease does, it makes it easier for the mouthpiece to slide onto the neck. So I'm going to massage it kind of into here a little bit until the cork is coated and ready. And the next thing I'm going to take out is the mouthpiece and the reed. So here's the mouthpiece. I have it with a metal cap here to protect it. And on the mouthpiece is the ligature, which holds the reed on the mouthpiece. So it has these two screws, and I'm going to loosen them to get ready to put the reed into place. Now, I keep my reeds in this reed case to protect them. They're made of cane, type of wood, and they're very fragile. So you can see the tip of the reed is very, very thin. And you never want to touch that with your fingers because chances are it'll probably break. I'm going to moisten the reed in my mouth. Some people recommend soaking reeds in water, but you probably don't need to do that, just especially if it's new. Spend some time getting some moisture soaked into the reed from your mouth. And then you're going to want to get ready to put it on the mouthpiece. This is a little bit tricky. So it takes a little bit getting in, it takes a little bit of getting used to. You might want to practice it a few times. Always put the, the screws on the right side of the mouthpiece. And you're going to want to slide the reed just like that under the ligature, not touching the tip, being really careful. Doesn't matter if it's exactly in place yet, but you'll put the reed on there. Make sure the screws are in the center and slowly tighten the screws. Okay, so as I'm doing that, I'm adjusting the reed kind of into place. And you want to make sure for the position of the reed that the tip of the reed is almost to the tip of the mouthpiece. If it's a little bit too far up, you'll be able to see the wood of the mouthpiece above the reed. If it's a little bit too far down, you'll just kind of see the black part of the mouthpiece. So you want to kind of put it right towards the top. So if you press the reed down, you see kind of like a thin black line. So I'm going to tighten this all the way now. And I'm going to show you a little trick to help you double check that your reed is on the mouthpiece in just the right way. So what I'm going to do is put the mouthpiece firmly on my hand. And I'm testing for a suction of the reed to the mouthpiece. So I'm going to put the mouthpiece in my mouth. I'm going to breathe in and kind of suck air out of the mouthpiece to see if I can get the reed to stick to the mouthpiece. So it goes something like this. And then you get a little popping sound. So I'll show you that one more time. You're going to suck on the reed in the mouthpiece. Instead of blowing into it like you would if you were playing, keep it firmly against your hand the whole time and see if you can get the popping sound. You might not get that right away, but it's kind of an interesting and fun thing to try to make sure you're doing it right. Now let's put the mouthpiece on the saxophone. 
You already have your cork grease in your cork, so it should be nice and easy to put the mouthpiece on. I'm holding the mouthpiece very lightly, and I'm easing it on to the saxophone just like this. Now, if you look at your slips a little bit, you, you can kind of loosen it, reposition it, holding the reed carefully, and retighten it, and get it right into place. You never want to force the mouthpiece onto the neck of the saxophone. You never want to push it down with your hand like this. If it's too difficult to put it on, on there, make sure you have enough cord grease. So you might want to take the mouthpiece off again and put the cord grease on. But now the saxophone is assembled and we are ready to start working on breathing and playing. <laughs>